Hello, Legacy Flat Roofing Sheet Metal. We're here today at a residential house in London, Ontario. Uh, the size of the project is relatively small, but we've got some tricky details we're dealing with today. We're dealing with the vinyl siding uh, tie-in detail. We're also de dealing with some shingles and some uh, windows details where the window flashing comes out and onto the roof, so we got to tie in properly there. So I'll show you the project. It's about 425 square feet, and uh, we're going right on top of the existing mod bit. You've seen us do it before. But the details are kind of new. I'll show you how we do the tie-in detail and I'll show you how we do the window detail. So I'll give you an overview of the job. There's the job. And so this being one of our trickier details, we have to bring our roofing. We don't have much space here up and under the new uh, window frame. If you can see, maybe we have the width of our fi my finger there. So we have to uh, tie in nicely there. We also have our shingles here. That we got to bring our new uh, modified up and under and this is one of the trickier details we're going to work with today is the vinyl siding detail now i'll show you um with the vinyl siding detail it looks like it's coming right onto the roof it's actually not we have a bit of space underneath here that i can slide my finger in so uh, i have to make the decision whether we're going to block it off or um basically bring our roofing underneath i think right now we're going to block it off so that's that detail we have some flashing details that's pretty normal and we have another window detail over back there so we have existing ease trough that we're going to leave in place because it's in great shape and there's no need to replace it and we're going to go from there okay so I'll bring you along for the day and show you how we do the job and give you some trip, tricks and tips as we uh, go along. Um, okay, thank you very much. And I'll see you basically when we start tying in our details, laying down our sober board. I'll, I'll explain to you how we're doing. So thanks. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Okay, good morning. Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal. Um, this is morning two of the same project. Yesterday was pretty detailed and tense. It took a long time. This has actually taken about twice as long as we thought it would but uh, the basic line is we gotta get it done properly and uh, take the details take the important facts and uh, do it properly so in the end of the day it doesn't leak and the roof is done quality so here we go i'll show you what the job looks like we have the cap sheet on you see you remember the uh, old roof system so i'll show you the important parts of this job it's a relatively small job we got this roof this roof and this roof uh, three small roofs it's this detail that's been taking a long time only because we want to do it we want to do it properly and uh, that's the bottom line so we remove the shingles here in this section here we got shingles we want to save as much of the old shingles as possible because um, if we start bringing in new shingles it's not going to look the same it's going to have a different discoloration these have aged at a certain rate and uh, I wanted to put the old shingles back on so you couldn't tell that it'd be too different so we removed the shingles we numbered them we know exactly where each shingle goes believe it or not and uh, you can see the plywood here so this is our base sheet we applied our base sheet to the field of the roof and we brought it up this detail primed it and um, so we're going to have a cap flashing and then new shingles coming below that so that's what's going to make this watertight in this detail here we removed the existing metal flashing and did the same thing we wanted to bring our base sheet up and underneath this detail that's an important part we don't want in the, in the winter, we're going to have water building, snow and ice building up here, which is going to turn to water when it melts, and coming in here would be a disaster. So we want to bring our um, ice and water shield underneath that, the base sheet, and put the existing flashing back on. So here was our tricky section of the project. Um, this is the vinyl siding that we had to take off, and we roofed basically bring a roofing up and underneath and put the vinyl siding back on um, we numbered our vinyl siding so it goes back exactly where it goes you can see we have a box here everything is numbered exactly you see all the numbers on everything is numbered exactly where they go so what we did in this detail we took the vinyl siding off and then we put our base sheet up and underneath and we're going to do a cap sheet detail up and underneath and then put uh, the siding back on. So that was basically where we had most of our day right here. Just uh, the detail work in this area. It doesn't look like much, but believe me, this takes a lot of time and a lot of uh, just 
organization to be done properly. So this the this uh, vital siding area, what you see behind me, this is um, above their front entrance. The front entrance is a two-story. It's uh, quite a large front entrance, and they had water dripping down the uh, to the door. So this was obviously one of the important parts of the project. And um, so you can see. We removed the vinyl siding, we removed the metal flashing that they had here. We brought our base sheet up and underneath. We got to cap it and then the uh, old vinyl siding back on exactly where it went. So we're going to give them new metal flashing too just to uh, make sure everything is done properly. We brought our base sheet high, we're going to bring our cap sheet a little higher. So th that way there's no way for our water to get back underneath. We have the same detail there, shingles and windows. So. We put a new metal flashing here all along. The east trough stayed because there's no reason to repair the east trough. We got new metal flashing there and the cap sheet there. So, Okay. Legacy Fly Roofing Sheet Mail. This is a very uh, detailed project. Hope you like it. Hope you guys learned something. If, um, if at all you guys have a detail like this you want to answer, get, send me an email, info at legacyroofs.com. I'll uh, try to answer it to the best I can. And uh, that's about it. I'll show you back. I'll bring you back when we start putting on cap detail. We still need to weld all the seams and uh, go from there. Okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, Legacy Flat Roofing Sheet Metal. The job's finished. It turned out great. A lot of detail work. It was two full days. But in the end, I'm uh, really proud of it. And I think it turned out excellent. So, bottom line, it's going to stop their water infiltration issues. So, I'll show you the job. There you go. You remember the, ins the uh, shingles we took off. Uh, we Reflash the bottom of that window. If you look uh, closer, we caulked it. Everything's in place. And uh, the number one point of the project was these vinyl siding details. We took that off, uh, properly roofed it in, base flashing, cap flashing, and reinstalled the vinyl. So I think the client's gonna be thrilled. It really turned out great. I'm really happy. We have new uh, new metal flashings on the edges, and. Um, we we reused their shingles again just because we want to give it a look uh, that they did not get a new roof. We want to make sure when you looked at it, it didn't look like a patch job. You were able to uh, you weren't able to see that there was a new roof installed. So that's the bottom line. Um, again, job turned out great, and I'm really happy. I think the client's gonna be thrilled. So legacy flat roofing and sheet metal. If you're in the southwestern Ontario area, give us a call. Any kind of uh, information maybe you have some questions regarding flat roofing let us know info at legacyroofs.com or um, you can email us at info at legacyroofs.com or check us out www.legacyroofs.com all right thank you very much hope you guys enjoyed something hope you guys learned something and uh see you guys next time